we just moved here a couple months ago, so I haven't like fully made anything in this room yet, but we just got it all set up and um, been plugging along on some stuff. I journal every day and I do that in here. I don't actually know how to play piano for real, but I do play a lot. Show me some stuff. <laughs> some piano. I can't do like two hand stuff. I feel like when I record piano, I just like record what would be a left hand part and then maybe a right hand part. like that. I would like to get to the point where I could like actually perform on piano, but it's hard. Something that I have been doing lately, let me get up for one sec. is pretty cool. I haven't quite found like a use for it in a song, this specific way of doing it, but there's something there. I think that with like a little distortion could like sound like a very expensive synth. <laughs> My first instrument was trumpet, um, which I have right here. <laughs> you, trumpet's gonna be like abrasively loud. Okay. Yeah, I started playing trumpet probably when I was like seven or something. I think my grandpa played trumpet and like gave me one. I don't remember how I got my first trumpet. This is like far from my first trumpet. And my real trumpet that I loved was stolen out of my car, which is a bummer. So I got this one now, but I like it. On the song that I'm gonna do the stems for, it's like I came up with this like background patch from doing like weird alternate fingerings for the same notes. So you can go like. And play the same note, but then you get this like nice pulse. So you can do like. I'll show you on like the stems in a second, like what I did for that, but it works better in certain keys and that key is not the key of the song. So I had to like record it and then pitch it which I think made it sound kind of cool. This little guitar I love. I bought this on Craigslist for a hundred bucks. It doesn't stay in tune very well, but it's got that like nice, like lo-fi nylon sound um, that if like feeling very inspired by like Phil Elverum, I feel like he does a good job of like layering a lot of nylon string stuff. Um, so I wanted to get one, but I didn't want to get an expensive one. So I looked on Craigslist and just saw this one. And I kind of love that it's red. It just, it, it makes it feel even more like a toy. So that's that. This acoustic is the guitar I've had for the longest. I think I've had this guitar for like almost 10 years. Like it's not the most like special guitar in the world. It's a Martin, Triple O, made in Mexico. Just because I've had it for so long, I, I feel very attached to it. And like, I've played nicer guitars, but they don't feel as like homey as this one does. <laughs> um, recently took out my old harmonica. I've been thinking about doing this. I have some like solo shows coming up. So I was like trying to figure out how to make it more interesting again. But like, a song like Monochrome. It's like a... That's kind of the whole intro. Then I would sing. 
what I need to figure out is how to keep this close enough to my face like that I can play it, but far enough away that I can sing. Because it's hard if I have to like crane my neck. I should ask someone who like really does this. <laughs> I can kind of get by on most of these instruments in a studio setting like piano, bass, but I don't play drums. And I always wished I did. I think like because I didn't, that's where like I started getting into like programming drums. This stems on a wash has me playing drums, but I like just did like one piece at a time and like pretty poorly. So like there's like, it's pretty heavily quantized. But yeah, we can get into that. This is a wash in stem form. I first did this song in 2017 and it was like one of the first things I ever produced and I was like mostly just like teaching myself how to produce at home. So I was excited last year to get to like do it better. And it starts with this trumpet patch that's just me doing those alternate trumpet fingerings. Which is doing like alternate fingerings of the same note for these three notes. And then I had to pitch it to put it in the right key. And something about doing that gave it this like, there's like, steps to it and I think that was not how I first intended it to sound but it just kind of came out that way and I thought it sounded better. In the beginning it's like some synths that I use in a lot of my songs as like you know in a more traditional setting it might be an organ just something that like kind of fills the air. And you can't always hear it when everything else is going on, but they'll like pop in and out in ways that I like. Um, that is this synth, this mini log over here. Um, just like a little patch that I created and then like doing swells with the cutoff. So like just holding it like, mm -hmm. kind of like that, but better. Then it's acoustic guitar and banjo and like a million vocal tracks. Okay, so like this song has a lot of vocals on it, and it's just like me stacking a bunch of harmonies. So uncertain. Everything on this is recorded with a 57. Vocals, trumpets, guitars, because yeah, I just want to like work with as many limitations as I can so that I can just like focus on like just getting the song done and not like get bogged down and like which mic am I going to use like all that stuff. I try to keep it simple so that I can just like streamline the work. The drums are a mixture of like Ableton stock samples and uh, me playing like one drum at a time. So like the samples are these ones. <laughs> and then the real drums is this snare part and this tambourine part. And it's just me like doing like a march. And then you put it all together. It definitely doesn't sound like a real person playing drums, but it's like an interesting drum part, I think. Um, and then there's just like bass and strummed acoustic underneath with some more synths. And banjo. What I wanted to do was have it feel like a like a collage in the middle. So there's like, I did a guitar solo that I left really sparse. And then I sent it to my friend Evan who plays guitar. And he did like some like slide stuff around that. And then I did some piano. And then I took what everybody played and then I chopped it up again and kind of like reoriented it into this other part. 
So there's like Evan's bits, which I think sound really cool on their own. bursts of that nice. So that's like kind of what Evan's guitar does. Mine is just like this really kind of like simple solo. Leaving lots of space. And then the piano is just kind of like, I put this filter on it that makes it kind of sound watery which I think works for a song called A Wash. Um, and I just did like a bunch of different takes of just like kind of like plinking random notes with the delay on. But there's like, something sounds like water dropping in that, um, which I think is nice. Uh, and then like the three of those things together without anything else is more like... That's kind of it. You get like, I try to bring it to like some sort of climax. This little bit of slide. So that's, uh, a wash, it's out now, um, the new version. The old version is still on Bandcamp, so you can listen to the always repeating 2021 version and go and listen to the A Wash 2017 version and get to see kind of the whole trajectory of that song. Um, and yeah, you can let me know what you think, I guess. Thanks for checking it out. <laughs>